Apple's mixed reality headset is nearly here. And this is your first look at what it may look like. Welcome everybody. Welcome to Apple Insider. It is Andrew here and rumors have swirled for years that Apple is seriously creating an augmented reality headset, a pair of glasses that you can put on that mix your reality with characters and images and maps and all sorts of different overlaid information. It sounds amazing. The thing is, augmented reality is still years away from being something that Apple can commercialize and create on a mass scale that delivers the user experience that Apple wants. Tim Cook himself has said that augmented reality is the future, but right now we're living in more of a virtual reality world. Virtual reality headsets completely cover your vision and immerse you in that virtual world. Whether you're doing something like with the Oculus that Facebook produces, whether you're doing something like the HoloLens, whether you're using the PlayStation VR 2, there's a lot of different options out there and Apple looks to be creating its own. So what is this thing going to look like? What are its specs? What powers it? When will it be released? And what's it gonna cost? These are a lot of questions that I am going to help you answer. First, what's the difference between virtual reality and mixed reality? Virtual reality, as I mentioned, is a fully immersive experience. It completely blocks your field of view and you just see that virtual world. What Apple is considering doing is doing a mixed reality headset. So you're still wearing a visor across your eyes and you're still completely immersed in that world, but it uses exterior cameras to bring in parts of your environment to what you're seeing. Hence the mixed nomenclature. It's a mix of augmented reality and virtual reality. This seems much easier to produce and much more feasible in the short term than a true augmented reality headset. Late stage prototypes and concept images of the device show a curved visor that attaches to the face with a mesh material and swappable headbands. These early renders show a simple headset design with bands similar to Apple Watch and bands akin to the AirPods Max. Ming-Chi Kuo says Apple is looking to target less than a pound for the weight of this first generation device, but a second generation device could bring that weight down even further. Inside of Apple's glasses, you'll see a 8K panels. These 8K panels will have such high pixel density, they'll get rid of that screen door look where you'll actually see the pixels. That's not going to be a thing with Apple's virtual reality or mixed reality headset. To run its own virtual reality or mixed reality headset, Apple's going to be relying once more on its own silicon. Apple's device is going to be standalone, whereas things like the PlayStation VR needs to be hooked up to the console to operate, Apple's VR headset will operate on its own. It will not need to be attached, tethered to your iPhone or Mac to operate. Apple could use just a version of its M series silicon on the inside because again, it's powering 8K displays. It's going to need to power a lot of pixels and Apple is likely going to have to include a fan to prevent the fans or prevent the chips from overheating. Running on that silicon will be Apple's XROS. No, not 10R like the iPhone 10R, but actually like XR, Apple's like mixed reality or virtual reality operating system that it is currently developing. We've seen code references for XROS as well as patent filings that suspiciously lined up with WWDC last year, but we never actually saw Apple announce anything of the sort. Rumors have said that Apple was ready to launch the new mixed reality headset in early 2023, like January, but January came and went with no headset in sight. Rumors have persisted that Apple actually ran into snags into the development of XROS and it caused them to push the release just a little bit further. Now Apple is likely going to be releasing its new mixed reality or virtual reality headset at WWDC this June. Apple is still going into production on this unit according to Ming-Chi Kuo in 2023. So we should still see production, the release, software development kits for this thing, all coming this year. Apple's headsets have been rumored for so long and it is exciting to see what Apple may finally release. Apple's headset could be expensive though. Rumors have said that Apple could price this as high as $3,000, though it's still targeting both consumers and commercial applications. So what do you guys think? Do you think Apple's mixed reality, Apple Glass type headset would be something you'd be interested in? 
Let me know down below in the comments or on Twitter at Andrew underscore OSU. Otherwise, stay tuned. I have so many more videos heading your way.